Good morning, Kutonu. Good morning, Vida. Good morning, Benin. Uh, bonsoir. Thank you very much for checking me out, everybody. Uh, this is Seko Simpson. I am very happy making this video here in Kutonu. So we are about to leave the hotel that we slept yesterday all the way to Wida, where the biggest uh, spiritual African event is happening called the Voodoo Festival. I am currently in Benin right after I came back from South Africa, a beautiful developed city which I would love to visit again. But I'm here and this is so beautiful. Look, the sea is just right in front of our hotel. How can I rest if you are always bringing out relevant uh, content to Africans living in the motherland and Africans in the diaspora? Maybe you might think of, hey, Echo, I want to come and visit um, Africa. Yes, aside Ghana, you might also want to try other African countries within the continent. Yes, so this is so beautiful. The street in Benin, Kutonu right now. Damn, man. Uh, I wish I could do more than three days here, but I have just two days to be here to show you exactly what happens when we have the Voodoo Festival. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. All right. <laughs> okay, let's get going and show you more of Kutonu. Interestingly, the people of Benin, uh, in terms of um, you know transporting one from one side to the other, basically uses motorbikes. Good. So you have a lot of people riding motorbikes early in the morning from our hotel going to Wida, where the event is going to take place. And then we realize that uh, the easiest form of transportation for the people of Benin is using a motorbike. You can see from here. Hey, so we're finally here on the Deborah ground in Benin Wida where they is gonna display a lot of African culture a lot of African dance uh, play beautiful African drums and, you know do their own magical thing so you can see a lot of people here even the white people I mean the Europeans are even here uh, but at the end of the day they will tell us that we should use the good book they call the Bible but that is what it is uh, we're here to experience culture we're here to learn more so this is uh, central culture i think it's like when you come to ghana we call something cnc center for national culture i mean i think that is where they do their theaters and programs and all that so the program is about to start there are a lot of people here some are drinking chilling you know the local boys let me see if i want to say hello to them yo look at yourself how are you what is what is it? Is it alcohol? Is it beer? Yeah. Beer. How much?
So we met these guys and they are taking us around various houses that has, uh, I think, uh, some something going on inside the house. And then, yeah, the funny thing is that these guys don't understand. They don't speak. They don't speak. Okay, something is gonna go down here. Come and stand here. That's it, you me. So you, you pray for us, pray for us. I don't mean high when you pray for us. I don't mean high when you pray for us. We love you more than that. Man, I'm going to go. Kajabo! Ah, team, bro. Ah, team, bro. We don't have to go. I'm going 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 to go. brother put in something and he is praying to um, the ancestors to the gods to cry him whatever you want to cry him but that is his personal stuff so we can't put it out here okay what is your name my name is uh, Epifan. 
Epiphan. Yes. Uh, are you in school? Yes. Class what? Grade? In French. In troisième. Troisième. Uh, what is that? Class two? Yes. Secondary. Secondary. Oh, okay. That's nice. I'm trying to understand, but anyway. Uh, he's my friend, uh, so we're just rolling together with Patricia. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Just having a cool day walking around. There's a lot of things going on here. Uh, do you know Ghana? No, no. Benin. Benin. Yes. Me, me from Ghana. You know Ghana? No. You don't know Ghana? <laughs> okay. I'll tell you about Ghana later, okay? All right, good. The language barrier. Yeah, do Ghana. Do Ghana. Basilic Notre Dame Le Maculé Conception de Wida. What is the name of this church? The name of Conception de Wida. What is the name of the church? Yes. Catholic church? Yes. It is a English Catholic. What? English. English Catholic. Catholic. Yes. Okay, so I have the the English Catholic Church, I think one of the biggest church here in West Africa. And then just there, we have the Temple de Python. That is where, if you remember, some few years ago, I came here. They put the python around my, my, my neck and I was shivering. This is exactly what happened that day. All right, so we're going to go there and then experience. So let's go to uh, Temple de Python. Yes. Let's go. All right, so I have this little guy. Okay, he want to hold my hand. <laughs> I have this little guy who is now my tour guide. Um, he's been telling me some words that I don't know and you know something that I want to mention and he's been good. He's been good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that the police doing their work making sure that the kids are safe you know that is really good <laughs> it's nice <laughs> yeah it is nice i mean she's riding her own motorbike um you know gliding in her beautiful i think she's a priest anyway but that whatever she's wearing is so beautiful and she was friendly i said hello he said hi yeah so we're walking just around. People are buying, people are selling. Chicken. That's a chicken. <laughs> what is what is going on here? They're selling food? Food, yes. Yeah. Manger. Yes, yes. Manger. Okay. Alright. Interestingly, you could find people here tasting all different kinds of food. Everybody's Hey, are you from Brazil? Are you from Brazil? Are you, are you from Brazil? You Brazil? No. Okay. Ah, she's not from Brazil, but she's putting on Brazil, you know. I'm really loving this place. People are having their own conversations, arguing. Some are laughing, some are eating all kinds of food. I may want to try and eat something over there. Do that riding motorbicycle is one of the easiest means they use to transport themselves from one place to the other. You could find um, 10 cars, maybe 100 motorbikes within 10 minutes. So our guide is taking us to one of the palaces or the, the, the shrine of one of the chief priests. All right, so let's go in. Hey, so we are just leaving uh, the palace of uh, the paramount chief or king of the 11 voodoo kings here. So that is his palace. Uh, we were not allowed to take videos inside, so when I was coming out, I had to do this. Um, the culture, the lifestyle, the tradition is still ongoing here in um, Wida, Benin. You know, you enter certain place, they asked me to remove my cap because I was entering the palace of um, the king, all the kings of the food. The white is always ready to learn and emulate and I don't know, because you could see these guys gladded in their African prints. And, you know, it makes it, it makes you think that they 
just don't only want to come and watch but they want to copy but the thing is that are we always going to be complaining about why this is not why this is that instead of us to come together and promote what we have because if you watch this video and you say why is a white person wearing this wearing that what are you doing about promoting the culture or you just want to complain Yes, it might be one of the festivals celebrated annually, but the people didn't stop trying to find some money for themselves. So you could realize that most of the shops uh, have opened. People are doing their normal work. Look, they are selling. Um, this one is selling chicken products. Uh, someone is selling beverages and all that. You know, people are still trying to make some money. It is not a holiday. It's a time to make money. Make money. Make money? L'argent. Uh, I don't know what to say, but say make money. Yes. No, say it. Make money. Say agent. Agent. L'argent. All right. Money. money, money, money. All right, that's the prayer for 2024. We pray for money. We pray for l'argent. We pray for connections like this connection that I just got here. So if we try to uh, maintain our communication, then I'm sure that I have a, a brother here. So this is where you come out from. After the experience with the snake all around your neck, shivering and trying to be a hero, but inside you, your heart is beating like a snake itself. So this is where you come out from after all that experience. And then like I told you, just in front of it, it's one of the biggest churches you could find. I learned in Africa, or maybe West Africa. Festival of Godo. Okay. Tell me more. I want to know more. Bon, yeah, say plenty, anything. Bon, aujourd'hui, j'ai quitté Cotonou pour Ewida, juste pour visiter et le temple de Python, regarder les pitons, mettre les pitons au cou, visiter le basilic et après aller là où il y a la grande fête pour voir ce qui se passe et regarder les En tout cas, tout ce qu'il y a comme culture ici, découvrir beaucoup de choses en fait. Donc c'est pour cela que j'ai fait le trajet de côté de l'autre ici. Where is the pen? What is your nationality? You heard of Ghana? You know Ghana? Yes, I know Ghana. You know Ghana? Yes. Yeah. Okay. How did you hear about Wida and Voodoo Days? Um, on the internet. <laughs> okay, please tell us your impression of Wida Town. Beautiful and well structured. What interested you most during the Wida visit? Is there like the spiritual aspect? You know? Are Yeah. 
I've taken enough of the day. Uh, we're going back to Ghana. That's about eight hours from here. My people are waiting. We came yesterday, we had a lot of fun. Uh, today, the festival is ongoing, but we have to go back to Ghana. But I've enjoyed it anyway. Uh, I wish I had experienced a lot of things, but it is what it is. I am very happy that I came here. Voodoo Festival 2024. Uh, it's been a great experience. After a long day in Benin, we are witnessing beautiful culture, lifestyle of the people of Benin. We're done for the day. And we're heading back to Ghana. And then I will go straight to Cape Coast because school has resumed already. So I have to get back into the classroom, save some money and start traveling again. Thank you very much for checking us out.